listen, sometimes the only language they will understand is get back. That's the only way you can communicate with somebody is in get back. They got to know what's in you, baby. They got to know what's in you. This is Dee. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Well, y'all, I'm back, back, back. And you know what it is. Two wrongs don't make a right but it damn sure makes it even. But the fact that this woman has taken this Negro back time and time again, after he has humiliated her, after he has constantly trying to, you know, try to diminish her because he's clearly jealous of her and has done everything he can to humble her. And you posted something about Cardi and people think that she cheated. All right, so that post, to be honest, like, me and her going, it's my wife. I love her to death. Like, we going back and forth. And if you got a New York woman, you know, she's a pit bull at the mouth. She she get crazy at the mouth a little bit. And I was on some, I was really lit that night. <laughs> I was lit. I look Casamigo here and there, you know. Okay. I was lit. And then we going back and forth. And I'm like, watch this. And, I, and it's like, she got, a, she got a crazy mouth. But I love my wife at the end of the day. You might be crazy, too. I'm crazy. Okay, but there we go. I'm crazy for each other. <laughs> Did you think I need to get online and clear this up, or you think a delete is enough? Uh, the delete is enough. So we're gonna, you know, listen to Cardi B talk her talk, baby. She broke it. I mean, she break it down. Um, some TikTok reactions and you know, some commentary from me throughout. Who give a fuck if a nigga talking about? Oh, I'm gonna expose you. Oh, I'm gonna put them text messages that's so through your phone. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, nigga. I will expose my own teeth. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. I don't care. You should be happy. You know what you should be? You, you know what you should be happy? You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day, I'm a real gangster ass bitch and I'm a solid bitch. So one thing I'm not gonna do to you ever is entertaining them, your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my pussy. I will never do that because the op to you is a nigga that wants you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the fuck out of you, out of you. My kids love you down. So I will never do that. And I really follow gangster. I really follow street codes. I will never be a lame ass bitch that fuck with a nigga op just to get back. No, nigga, I don't have to do that shit. I just got to fuck a nigga that's better than you. However, I don't give a fuck. You can expose whatever the fuck you want to expose, nigga. I expose it myself. Fuck it out of here. I told you when the Libra start Libra in, we really don't give a fuck. Now, goodbye. Oh, I think a woman should be able to kill one man a month. At least. And I've always been too good for you. I've been too good for you. I've been too good for anything that is associated to you. So you got to fuck other bitches to make yourself feel better. Because I make you feel so low about yourself. Because I don't make you feel like I'm, you're that nigga in this home. So that's what you got to do. So you out here trying to hurt my feelings because you fucking the next bitch. I don't give a fuck. You was gonna fuck them anyways, nigga. All you gotta do is get fucking drunk. Them bitches gonna throw you that pussy for five for two thousand. Bitches gotta survive out here. Bitches gotta survive out here, nigga. These hoes is hungry out here. We in a recession, baby. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't move with integrity. You're not a street nigga. That's what you do. That's what you do. Oh, I'm gonna go fuck your obs. Goo goo boo hoo, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You can fuck my obs. You can fuck my friends, nigga. I don't give a shit. You're lame to me, and you will never equate to me. It, like, ain't nothing equal when it comes to these niggas. <laughs> Y'all allow shit they want. And it's crazy that I even, I even let you, I even let you even play with me for such a fucking long time. You done it all. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing surprises me. You done it all, so I don't care. See, this is what happens. When you ride, you die. I mean, she damn near died. Her career damn near died. Her self-respect damn near died. Please send the National Guard to Georgia. This is not a drill. You cheated on me for years after years. The only difference is you got caught, I didn't. You would be even more butthurt if you knew the relationship between me and Takeout. They get back a motherfucker. Yeah. 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 You would be even more butthurt if you knew the relationship between me and Takeoff had before he passed. Rest in peace to the only real from the group. I miss those nights. Cardi, I just got done defending you, man. That's something you take to the grave. All right, you already said you did your business, all that. 
you did your big one, but nah, this one you 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 should have you should have just stopped talking. Man, I'm safe to blow some shit up, man. Okay, because the shit that y'all be willing to live through with niggas, a niggas will put y'all in the grave for doing for, to them. Hey man, we need Homeland Security, the FBI, the CIA, the MIA. Man, we need, we need shit. We need Jason Bourne. Shit. We might even need a goddamn Avengers to pull offset off goddamn Cardi. I have always said this when you're a man and you get caught up and you're out here cheating, man, you're going to be walking on eggshells and your girl or wife has that in her back pocket. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be able to pull it out and, and what are you going to do? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Boo hoo on how somebody you creeped around on done did the same to you. Yeah, you know I'm saying I believe this is what's going on. It doesn't look like anybody feels sorry for Offset. Offset saying, you know, uh, he's coming for everything Cardi B's got. And Cardi B's basically like, hey, look, look, you was out there moving the way you was moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on my get back. Cheaters typically are just who I deem just unloyal people. Unloyal is a character flaw that I will never be around. However, I am a true advocate of revenge. I like that. Oh, ain't nothing better than getting your lick back, son. I swear to God. I swear to God. Now, I'm going to be honest. I truly believe, and this is just my, this is my thoughts because everything's alleged. But when Offset is saying that Cardi cheated on him while being pregnant, and she said, and did. I feel it purely, purely. That was just her just being vengeful. And you know what? That's one way to break a nigga. And I, I, and I support that, especially if that person been doing you dirty. Oh, yeah. Whether it's true or not, revenge. I don't know who needs to hear this, but break that nigga ego today. <laughs> now that Cardi done went and got her lip back in blood, can we talk about the fact that Offset about to be irrelevant? Soon, as soon as we wrap this little, this little situation up, we're not going to be talking about him. The only time we're probably going to talk about him is when she dropped that He Man Man Eater album that that finna go crazy. He was he only remained relevant because of her. Let's be honest. I know some people going to come on here and be like, "That's not true. That's not true." Name an Offset song that don't have Cardi on it right now. His only option is to get back with Quavo, and honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen. So. <laughs> Like she said in her live, she, he felt inferior to her. And when men feel inferior to you, they try to humble you in whatever way they can. So he tried to humble her by constantly cheating on her. Now, everything she said is so true. You know, Offset always felt less than because, well, he was less than. When it came to talent, when it came to career and Cardi is an example of a woman who diminished herself to be with a man, right? Cardi, what was her, her album came out, what, two, 2018, 2018? I mean, that's crazy. And it took her all these years to get her power back. You know, when you give your power away, this is what happens. You lose years, years of your life yeah i hope y'all don't waste y'all time doing what y'all need to do in a man-made system only to turn around and do for niggas what niggas would never do for y'all i feel like every woman is smiling with a bit of glee like for cardi right now because she could have said this ages ago because this man has been cheating on her for the longest time and she's held this about her having sexual relations with take or one of his group of members up until now She's definitely done. She is definitely done. She ain't definitely going back because I he he can't. He is not going to be able to cope with that. And what can he do? Who can he fight? Who can he get mad at? Take off his pass away. He's dead. He can only get mad at himself. <laughs> everybody is sleeping with everybody at this point. Everybody fucking everybody.
didn't Sweetie sleep with Offset? This is so discombobulated and so dirty. It's dirty. Listen, sometimes the only language they will understand is get back. That's the only way you can communicate with somebody is in get back. They got to know what's in you, baby. They got to know what's in you. I feel bad for Cardi B, but some lessons you have to learn by going through it. And if it's one thing that most women learn is that men will want a bad bitch, but can't maintain it. He was buying her car and she don't even know how to drive. But they'll say, oh, but I bought you a $300,000 car. I bought you a half a million dollar car. Well, nigga, I don't drive. Okay, I bought you more Birkins than the Skittles. I'm still not happy. We buying houses and I got you a nice house in Atlanta and I decorate it. Nigga, I don't like Atlanta. How do we know? How do we know these things and he don't know these things? And I'm not saying those are the things that broke them up, but I'm just saying a lot of times men don't even know. They don't like women. They like the aesthetic of having a woman. They like the clout that they get with having, having a woman, but they do not like women. You got to think there wasn't a day that Cardi wasn't bringing in more money than him. There wasn't a day. I guarantee it. I don't have the bait proof, but I know for a fact there wasn't a day that Cardi was not bringing in more money than Offset. You think he going to turn and like her? You think he's sitting there kissing her feet? What? No. He's going to do something that's going to embarrass her to bring her down. I.E. fucking with the ops. That's weird. Men will really hate you and lay with you and make babies with you. Why is you marrying these niggas? Why are you having babies with those niggas? You see, it's unfortunate that so many women feel that they have to learn their lessons the hard way. That they have to, you know, learn these things through experience, uh, experiences instead of, you know, as far as I'm concerned, looking at somebody else's experiences and learning the lesson from that. So you don't have to go through what they went through. Let's keep it a band. There is a whole series of decisions you have to make and actions you have to take in order to cheat. Cheating is never an accident. It's always a choice always a choice and dare i say it's a character flaw you won't cheat on somebody that you actually love and like that is why i say i don't think offset ever really liked cardi b like that. he might have had love for her but i don't think he ever liked her i agree now how many tiktok videos have we seen like in the last year or so about women basically telling their stories about how the men in their lives, men they lived with, men they were married to, did not like them. When did you know he hated you? Every time he cheated on her. I mean, what kind of man does that? And most importantly, what kind of woman takes him back over and over and over again and then continues to get pregnant by him? Now, let, let's be honest. If this was a, you know, our, you know, Cardi B says she's a hood chick, but this, if this was a chick in the hood, Everybody would be looking down on her, saying, you a dumb bitch. How you got three kids with this nigga? I mean, really, think about it. If she wasn't Cardi B, people would be looking at her in an entirely different way. Am I wrong? Tell me in the comments. Let me know in the comments, but you know I'm right. You know, this next album is going to be bombed. I know her ass. She ought to be running to the studio if she hasn't already. She, she probably has been using all of this. So that next album gonna be bomb, y'all. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a big Cardi B like music fan, really. But I mean, even I may have to hit this one up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, a thumbs it up, y'all. Thumbs it up, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so you are aware whenever I upload a great new video, just like this one. I'm back. Until next time. They get back a motherfucker. They get back a motherfucker. Bye.